A massive crash on one Wisconsin interstate serves as a reminder to drivers on the dangers of ice on the road. But emergency responders are ready to respond to crashes of any size. News 8 Now's Jordan Fremstad takes us back to that December crash that stretched nearly a mile long. These long stretches of asphalt shave time off a road trip. I want to help people and, and make the highway safer. Wisconsin State Trooper Lieutenant Dean Haig manages a team that holds I-94 drivers accountable for the speed posted. That's plenty fast. Anybody that's lived here uh, knows, knows the dream, right? Sarcasm from a veteran state trooper who knows winter driving conditions can change in a flash. It happened quickly. December 23rd. And we can switch to ice covered, snow covered in a matter of minutes. Two, go ahead, Chief. Right before the morning rush. We routed all resources we possibly could get there. Massive pile up. Lieutenant Hag and the Jackson County Sheriff's Department helped coordinate the arrival of emergency responders. Reports of multiple fires. Kind of ends up being kind of an assembly line. Gunderson Health System Ambulance Supervisor of Clinical Services Stephen Hensley says communication is the difference in saving lives. Whoever is that is in the incident command component has to be calm, cool, collected, and very structured. One fire department bust people to safety. It was something we didn't even have to do. They took care of that on their own. The scene became a reminder to drivers this winter season. Anytime we're in, in winter, we obviously need to, to watch our speed and slow down. DOT officials recommend giving yourself four seconds of distance between your car and the car in front of you, because at these speeds, that distance is closer than you'd think. Once the sun rose, the glimmer of light in this stretch of destruction became clear. We had no fatalities. A miracle, perhaps. I'm not really sure how everybody survived. Nonetheless, Hag says teamwork came together just as fast as the road turned into ice. I'm not going to lie, a huge sigh of relief once it was all done with. In Eau Claire and Jackson Counties, this is Jordan Fremstead, News 8 Now. And emergency responders say crashes like this are why different agencies train together, and this is the way every department understands their roles so they can get people to safety.